Shall we get back into it? Hello, my fellow Good gamers. Afternoon. Welcome. 47. Good afternoon. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. That sounds like fun. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, okay. Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Uh-oh. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tanyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally broke the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. That's not good. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. That's we I, I don't like the whole shift so far. I get for personal gain and all, but man, we're going from people that were helping you take care of your competitor to... I'm going to help my competitor out. What in tarnation is this? Um. Computer? Computer. Alright, we get. Ooh. Okay, I don't get much to play with. We'll use the custom 5mm here. I don't think I need a gun, but it never hurts to have a gun on you. Especially when you're dealing with Florida Man. And Florida Man's daughter. Haw! Oh. Much Tobias Reaper, as always. Maybe? Uh! Okay, so, uh... The game crashed. I'm not used to games crashing. It's been a while. And my game just crashed. No, it didn't. The game doesn't know what it wants to do. Thank you. Welcome to Miami, 47. Thank you. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Why is there an EU Sierra flight? Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. Let's get started. Why is there a flamingo? Sir, if you want to come through, I'm gonna have to pat you down. Come on. This will just take a sec, sir. I'm 
much time remaining? Don't worry, folks. Anything can still happen. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Remember, folks, that endurance racing is all about getting your car to cover as many miles as possible, no matter how burned out or beat up it may be. All right, let's go inside, shall we? I don't want to be out here in the heat any longer than I have to be. I don't like to play theater. Okay. That hurts so much right now. Well, stop. Oh my, Moses Lee is just flying out there. Look at those. Wait a minute, times. what? I guess he's out to show Matthias. Don't forget, the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going until the end. I really don't want to get involved. Got a lot of unpaid traffic tickets, you know? And the guy who death. Anybody got it? Yeah. Thanks. Doctor gave me some sort of vitamin hydration loop, normally reserved for the driver. Right up. What? No, it's for after the race. Although it did kind of look like the tour de France in there. But with all oh, the I don't want to. I think Sierra Knox had an appointment in there as well. Didn't meet her though. Shame. I hear she's fun to be around. Ooh, there's a story thing over here. Huh. I'm here now. Ready to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. I just gotta pick up the documents from my van, but um I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit, and now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost him in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got... I called for assistance, but for now I need you to stay still. Oh, my head. Some guy jumped me. He stole my mascot outfit. Did I just miss the story? Oh, this would be easy. Oh God, you guys are gonna make this hard on me, aren't you? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna take a few weeks off. And explore the country. Wait, is this not it? What's this? It's a brick. It's an electronic car key. Disguise ourselves as the mascot. That's kind of funny. Did all of that. Hey, yo. Did you find some keys over there? Oh, man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you. Oh, I could make my life easy. My downfall is there is zero uh All right. Let's get this over with. Oh. What? I'm sure it put me. I must have fallen down my What the hell? No way. No way, man. The documents are gone. How are they gone? What is it there? Idiot, I can't believe it. God, he's gonna kill me. Don't. No. Dang it. Alright, I'm taking your outfit now. I'm a flamingo. There's 78. The race is entering its final round, 47. Wait, I wonder how. I just don't have anything to use, though. What a mess. Do something like that. 
Do we not have all these freaking cameras here? Can you believe the nerve of that ticket tap? Oh. I mean, only the rich can afford his prices. Race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track anytime now. Number one in Miami. Once again, Chinese racing flexes its muscles on the U.S. race circuit. Well, big disappointment for the Californians. They came here as huge favorites, but Sierra Dogs and the team just, they just couldn't handle the Chinese opposition. I'm a flamingo. Alright. I'm an employee. Moses Lee, ladies and gentlemen, is on the way to the podium. They've rolled out the red carpet and the celebrities are rushing down there to get a closer look. The fact this is working this well scares me. <laughs> nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. Thank you. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. Oh. Mala! Is that it? And now a short message from our sponsors, Guardian Tire. Mm -hmm. Because you're in what? the drivers. Don't settle for second best. <laughs> Guardian Tire. Nice outfit. Really brings out your eyes. Miss Knox informed me you'd be here. She has to make sure you brought the documents. So, did you bring the documents? I have the papers right here. Excellent. Come on in. Have a wow. Something. I'll let Miss Knox know you're here. So far, so good. Now, let's yes, see where this Knox. meeting is headed. This guy here wearing a mascot outfit. So, uh, you here for a job application or what? Something like that. Nice. I'll let him know if you don't mind me saying so, your particular choice of attire is maybe a little, I don't know, off? <laughs> for a job interview, I mean. My suit is at the cleaners. And you couldn't find anything else to wear. Correct. You must lead a very interesting life, my friend. You have no idea. Miss <laughs> Knox is on her way. Grab Thank you. Somewhere. She'll be here as soon as she can. So what are my uh, ways I'm supposed to be killing people? That actually makes sense. With a fish trophy? Dang. Hmm. With a shot. We got plenty of options, but, uh, I'm a flamingo, apparently. Here she comes. What even am I doing? Am I just doing a job interview in a flamingo suit? There she is. She looks weird. So, Mr. Hmm. I never did catch your name. Names are for friends. Very well. Straight to the point in all business. Walk with me. Where are we going? Don't worry. I see it. What am I gonna do? Kill you in broad daylight. I just want a bit of privacy here. Not about to do sensitive business like this in front of an audience. Good idea. I mean, I like it. Can you not have your entire entourage here? So just here? to get this straight. You claimed in your email to have somehow found internal reports that show Kronstadt's involvement in the Tungan Valley Massacre. Sounds about right. Let's be clear. You and I are having this meeting because my father doesn't need to know about this. It's just another undesired distraction. 
I don't care if the information is true or false. I don't care if it mentions moving money from the Nexus project into Tungan Valley damage control, as you claimed in your correspondence. I do care about protecting my father, which is why you and I are now here. I see. Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. So here's the deal. You hand over the documents and leave, and that's the end of it. And you will do that now. So here are the two possible outcomes of this meeting. One, you will leave this place and this... Target down. Next up, roll. Uh, probably did that a little early. And you know what? I want your outfit now. One of the challenges was to do that. Okay. Okay. I don't have any way. Of uh, getting out of this one right off hand. But, uh, you're gonna go off the edge, too. Okay, he knows what's up, he doesn't. So let's go find Mr. Robert Knox. Baytown. Dang, he's all the way, he's a ways away. Like, look how far away he is. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maxwell Rudder. I am the senior race position chair at the Miami Global Innovation Race. The race is now officially over, and it's time to hand out the trophy to the winner. This year's winner proves that hard work, dedicated focus on quality. I guess you have to do this one pretty quick for a lot of these. With flawless technological execution and persistently excellent driving. I had no idea it was that good. Oh, it's good. It's real good. I mean, I get cravings if I don't come down here to eat once or twice per week. At one point, when I work near here, I eat lunch here every day. But Robert Knox? He's like a big shot billionaire. It's true. I was standing in line behind him. Do I have it? I don't have anything here. He talked about how he loves this place to death. It seems Robert Knox paid several visits to a Bayside area food stand yesterday. Huh. I need to find Gone Fishing. Locate Florida. Oh, I freaking love you, game, because I made that joke already. Is he not on the map anywhere? He has to be down this direction somehow. Where? But I don't have the... Really the equipment to deal with the uh, poison murder. That is Ted Mendez. One of the country's most influential military-grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. Hmm. Well, Ted here. Just a friend of call before heading over to the expo building to meet Knox. Hey, we never have enough security. That's what I always say. Oh, not yet. I'm letting him stew with it. This guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. All right, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the U.S. military, is scheduled for a private demonstration. Ooh, let's do that. Who's here? I gotta find a good spot for him. 
And I don't have a... I have a brick. And there's another brick. Okay, I was about to get very upset thinking I had a great plan to deal with Mr. Uh, De Los Fronte. I don't know what his name was. But, dear God, I screwed that up. <laughs> oh, okay, I literally just had nowhere far to go. I did this backwards. I need to turn this on. Then turn this on. Wait. And done. Brick. I don't have another brick. What I don't have another brick. Command! Command! You there? Got a guy hurt bad. Freak. Nap Tom. Alright, now we can move on. Because that worked perfectly. Hi, uh, gentlemen. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. Good the demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Thank you. Uh, Everything's under control, sir. Yeah, I'm glad things are going up to plan. Mr. Mendez, right this way, sir. Yes, thank you. Hello, HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down at the Bayside Center. Hey. Ah, Ted, good to finally see you. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. What? It's dirty, it's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants to exchange their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. The glory is gone, Ted. But, luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infiltrators operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow. A uh -huh. surgical tool for a blunt world. Yeah, Imagine Cell was a huge fan of this. Army of them, fully or Dr. Giro. Android medics seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians bringing them to safety or patching them up then and there android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage all right mendez it's very straightforward let me show you i just pick any of the pictures on the desk then i use the scanner to upload the biometric data and palace will do the rest Arm acquired wb Huh, it's pretty accurate Obviously, too. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace isn't... 
entirely foolproof. All you need is to pick a photo from the table Target and scan it Don't just like I showed you. It's perfect. Go ahead. Make my day. Well, how's that for impressive? Amazing, I know. And just think how much more we can Target accomplish acquired. together. My brains. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Oh, I didn't choose her. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution, and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee this thing will absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. So, Mr. Mendez, impressive so far, yeah? Let me quickly show you our on-site robotics lab. It's small, but state-of-the-art, and it's fully mobile, so you can deploy it anywhere. Okay. Hello there, sir. So, as part of the deal, Kronstadt will throw in one deployment cell per five units. Outfitted to enable on-site adjustments and calibrations, it'll be shipped in a bulletproof shell, and can be dropped anywhere on the back? planet okay, using the Kronstadt T-37 deployment drones. So if you have any questions or want to see anything again, just let me or McKinnis know. I'll let you hang out and look at everything for yourself. Hey, don't be a stranger, Ted. Huh. Hey there. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. I'd like to see the demonstration again, please. I can't blame you, Ted. It's pretty impressive. It is. The engineers just need to recalibrate things. Won't be too long. Ask me or McKinnis again later. Who's McKinnis? Are you McKinnis? Hello, sir. So, I'm hearing rumors on the corporate grapevine. Apparently, Knox wants to do a large-scale field test of Palace. Poison, I'm an employee. Yeah, allegedly. Android arm does not help. Uh, I want to see a demonstration again. See if I can get the demonstration again. I'd like to see the demonstration again, please. I can't blame you, Ted. It's pretty impressive. But the engineers just need to recalibrate things. Won't be too long. I'd like to see the demonstration again, please. You'll have to wait a little while, Mr. Mendez. We're just recalibrating the equipment. Palace artificial intelligence is a... Why do you need to recalibrate it is my question. Putting a new face on war. We ready? I'd like to see the demonstration again, please. I can't blame you, Ted. It's pretty impressive. But crap. Better pick that up, mister. I can't blame you, Ted. It's pretty impressive. But the engineers just need to recalibrate things. Won't be too long. Ask me or McKinnis again later. Maybe mention that it's bulletproof? Virtually impervious to small arms fire, the palace unit can be upgraded, eventually replacing standard troops in modern warfare. Hmm, yeah, maybe the guy's sick or something. Shame. I was really looking forward to a bite. I'm ready for another demonstration, Mr. Knox. Great, Ted. Great. I knew you were just playing hard to get. Let's do it. All right. I don't know why it took him so long just to... All right, so I need to, I guess, use the right card at the right time. Let me give you the rundown again. 
All right, I think we can skip the intro part. You know why we're building this, Ted. We're building the ultimate infiltration unit. Human looking, driven by the best AI Kronstadt has ever built. A unit capable of full environmental immersion, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Palace is equipped with extremely advanced facial recognition systems, capable of complex yeah, yeah, yeah. texture analysis. Ultrasonic 3D information capture ensures the right targets are taken down every time. Target acquired. Dummy C. So good? I want to play on it. You know what to do, Ted. Well, how's that for impressive? Amazing, I know. And just think how much more we can Target accomplish acquired. together. My brains. The sky's the limit here, my friend. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I still prefer the human touch. You're part of an old institution, huh. and you prefer the traditional approach. I respect that. But like it or not, this is the future you're looking at. Autonomous synthetic systems will entirely remove human agents from direct engagement. I guarantee it. this thing will absolutely murder anything you put it up against. Sounds promising. If you have any questions or want to see anything again, let me or me know. So is it as people? With a wide range of targeting capabilities from like. All right, we gotta figure out another plan to do. Cause I'm, why are there so many freaking guys on it? I don't know what that does, but I wanted it. The restricted side of the building. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, some of my favorite things in the game. Poison and a screwdriver. Now I'm in a very dangerous area. Alright, let's follow Mr. You guys okay? Did I not get cameraed there? Okay, here it goes. Sir, you're trespassing. Please, you need to turn around now. Screw off. Do you know who I am? Cause I don't know who I am either. There's nothing else here. Wait, if there's a McMenace ID card, there would have to be a Knox ID card, right? Right? Um, I don't know why we got a wrench. Nothing here to use. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. Hmm. What are you thinking? I need to run. I need to okay I know what I need to do but I gotta figure out how to do it cuz
What is that supposed to be? It's my question. It's like I need in my inventory of all this stuff. Well. All right, Pallet. Let's start out with an easy one. How are you feeling today? Core's running at 14% capacity. Personality index is set to 100. Fit for. Okay. So I need to find. This is where I have an idea, but I don't know if it's the right answer. I have the stuff to, in my opinion, to make a... key card for him. And... Oh, I just leave the items. That sucks. Die, of course. Oh, pff, I just ran to a circle. But I'm Nox. Oh, he's fine. It's her. She's a world-class idiot. <laughs> What is that? Uh, series of personal journals. This one, he just he just tries to hack up. What do you do? You need to follow. <laughs> Okay, you know how I like to screw up everything? That guy's looking for me hard. Office ID. Man, like... Compromised, I don't like that. Oh, that guard's Alex. mad. Engage emo cognitive filters and give me a status. My emotional I'm ready for, for another demonstration. Excellent, sir. But let me just call Mr. Mr. Knox and bring him down. I think that was an appropriate setting. back. Uh, Robert, it's Derek again. Mendez is ready for round two. You really need it's to get down three. to the ASAP. They don't tell him. Come on. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. Oh, it went that way. I didn't know there was a that way. Target acquired. Whoa. Robert Knox. Damn it. 
damn it. Both targets down. Well done. <laughs> Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. That that was not what I expected. I didn't think that would actually work. We got here. What? Poison. All right, this guy realizes there's a flood going on. I can hide here while I wait for him to come in here. That would make sense to. I'm now security. These g oh, they don't know who I am. I go upstairs one more floor. I just gotta find out where it's at, and we're out of here. I don't have an exit. Keep playing. Thanks for protecting our freedom, sir. Hey, I need this. What is that? So, Al, I haven't seen you in a while. What you been up to? Oh, mostly resting. Doctor's orders. That thing in Hokkaido really did a number on me. But for a boy, no. <clears throat> Don't have the keys either. Oh, there's no way. I don't have. All right. What is that? A wrench? Battle. Battle axe. Hunted. Why are you hunted? I was thinking about what might actually happen when Knox and the engineers integrate advanced artificial intelligence. Okay, he's after me. I'm kinda in a very bad spot, apparently. Well, they're looking for Knox, not me. It's the only place I can. It's a beautiful Compromised. Am I, though? I assume I need to go this way. Should take me back outside. It does. This is the longest exit chase ever. It's like I know where I need to go. I just gotta get here. Which is the hard part. Oh, here we go. We're out. Alright, I'm thinking zero. I'm gonna say zero stars because I did a lot of dumb stuff for no reason. But it was fun doing all that dumb stuff, you know? Alright, give me that zero star rating. Yes, I did. Okay, I got a lot of good stuff out of that. 
good experience. I got one star. Dang, I got a really good, really everything there. Trapsmith. Because both kills I had were accidentals. I wish I knew I had that. Why? Finally. Holy cow, I finally get a sniper rifle. After all this time. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary. A veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. We found a guy. Ooh. If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God. This hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. And he will. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Where are we? Poland, maybe? That also looks like Russian, too. Oh, this is a long one. But was it a good time? It kind of was. Next time on Hitman 2. Pretty in pink. See you then.